Check out this. Absolutely beautiful. They come here, they come here. Now this is Gaval stove. It's lime stove. Let's check this out. These are the mud volcanoes. So there's it's bubbling because of like all the natural gases and all of it. Yeah, it's known to like smoothen your skin and improve the quality of your skin. Yeah, we've been told to apply it a bit and dry it out. Yeah guys. Hot guys, it's even hot standing right even over here. <laughs> now from uh, Iraq. Okay, so right now we are at this place called as BB Habib Mosque. If I'm not wrong, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. But yeah, here is exactly where we are. I might have showed you guys the inside of the mocks in the previous clip. I didn't want to vlog inside because I don't know if it's respectful or not to do all of that inside. I don't think it is. So yeah, just to be safe, I didn't do that. But anyways, after this, uh, we are on a tour right now. So we'll be going to another few places as well, such as the Gobustan and the Fire Temple and the Fire Mountain and all of that. Check out this. Absolutely beautiful. We are at the Gobustan National Park and there's like a lot of inscriptions and all of this like on the rock so let's go and check that out. Now this is Kaval stove. It's lime stove. Just like these. But if you cut them into small pieces and you put them on something so that they're in elevation um, and you hit them resonance occurs and you get this sound okay in the ancient times people used this stone for different purposes mainly two purposes either as an alarm system or you can see there a group of petroglyphs now these that group of petroglyphs dates back to seven for six millenniums bc and that's called the allah dancing i told you about the dancing right they would conduct this dancing for the second before the sacrificial ritual they would sacrifice first They're conducting some kind of sacrificial ritual. Okay, we don't know exactly. History is fluid. Okay, and um, most of these meanings are based on conjectures. Zigzag lines connected to a straight line. Now that's an indication of water. So that means it was raining the very day that it was standing. That's 10th millennium BC petrol. Could be 7th too, by the way. Up there you can see a boat that docks in the boat. Those are the people. The sign of the Senate indicates that these people worship the sun. Maybe they also use that symbol as a compass. That's 7th millennium BC. They can see two humans standing. One of them has zigzag lines on his body, right? Okay, come closer, please. Yeah. Now, zigzag lines on his body, uh, probably a uh, mantle made of animal skin, maybe. They would wear it. 
а на зага, то есть материнская пещера. Почему? Ну, как вы считается, что а, значит, здесь сначала был матриарх. See women like this, just know that they date back to the late Paleolithic period until 15th millennium BC. They're the oldest petro groups you can see. Okay? But here you can see 10th millennium BC male figures. The thigh is smaller, as you can see. They're here, the thigh is bigger. Women have been Guys, right now we are at Kobustan National Park and I hope you guys can hear me. So this is the whole view. I might have added in like some of the clips of our tour guide explaining about the place. Basically, yeah, there's a lot of inscriptions along the walls and it's about a religion which worships the sun and all of that. Yeah, pretty nice place. And there's a beautiful view at the back. So now we'll be heading out probably to the mud water. Guys, we've made it right now to the place where I was most excited about the mud volcanoes, and there's a lot of them right here. Yeah, let's go and check that out. Okay, there's a small one right here. Let's go and check this out now. Let's check this out. These are the mud volcanoes. So there's, it's bubbling because of like all the natural gases and all of that underneath. And usually I've seen videos where it bubbles a lot more. It's not bubbling a lot. But yeah, it's pretty crazy that things like this actually exist in the world. Guys, so we've been told to wear these so that we don't slip because it's pretty slippery because of the mud. And yeah, there are a lot of these right here. There are several ones here. So yeah, let's go and check out a few more of these. Let's check this out. medicinal values so yeah it's known to like, smoothen your skin and improve the quality of your skin so, yeah we've been told to apply it a bit and dry it out yeah guys it's crazy to you know know that things like this actually exist on this earth and with all of this beautiful blue skies in the back looks pretty surreal wow so guys you can see the ribbon is literally here and this was there's still lots of cars which are coming up and everyone is here just to check all of this out. It's a really nice place to know that things like this exist. You know, we stay in India, we see like all this like, few specific things and all of that. It's good to come out and see like different things which exist in this world as well. Now we made a stop at this really aesthetic restaurant to try out some traditional food of Azerbaijan. So yeah, let's try out the food and let's see how it tastes. So guys, we just got done with the lunch. I didn't film all of it. There was kind of chicken and like a potato dish as well it was pretty good too and yeah but compared to our indian flavors definitely feels a little bland not gonna lie but it's all right new experience new vibes but yeah the restaurant is pretty aesthetic i might have showed you guys the clip of the entrance 
with a lot of stone walls and stone tiles have been used it's really beautiful so let's go on ahead we have like another two uh, destinations to cover which is the fire mountain and the fire temple so yeah let's cover that as well and the sprinter van with which all of us are going is a mercedes sprinter van as well and most of the sprinter vans for some reason over here are all mercedes i don't know why it's so common but yeah all of it is mercedes so yes guys let's head out and let's finish off the tour now last one, one or two destinations left and i'll show you guys that as well okay guys check this out this is the burning mountain also known no, you can call it the fire mountain as well So guys, we are on a higher ground right now, and the burning mountain is right below us. So there's a kind of like a signboard called as Yanar Dag. That's the name of this place. So we're gonna go and take a picture here as well. And yeah, guys, it's crazy, and I'm actually pretty tired. The tour was really long today. We've been out from around like eight o'clock, and there's another sight to see apart from this as well. It's called the Fire Temple. Concept. So there's a flame which is told to always be burning, and even the flame right here, which I showed you guys, it's said to be burning for about 4,000 years. So yeah, this is the point of view, guys, where we can take a picture now. And then let's head out. Let's finish the fire temple, and we'll be done. So yeah, guys, one last time. This is the fire in the background. Yeah, so let's head out of here now. So we're still right by the fire, and. We're gonna be having a hot chocolate and we're gonna be having a magnum as well. It's called as Magnath. But yeah, I'm assuming it's magnum, the same as the one which we get in India. But yeah, it's a whole new flavor, I think. So yeah, let's try this out. So right now we are at the fire temple. And I'll show you guys the burning fire and even that's similar to the fire mountain and it is said to be burning for several years. And there's like around 24 chambers right here. And we're checking each one of them. It'll be too long of a vlog if I show you each and everything. So I'll be showing you some of the chambers right here. I don't know guys, it's hard to believe that, you know, the flame is actually burning from such a long time. So this is the place and it has like 24 chambers right here. guys here it shows the whole evolution of this place it starts like right from there and it shows how this whole place has been evolutionized and it is where it is and it's called as Astaga right now so guys this is the flame which is to be burning from all of these years and it's hard to believe how this thing really extinguishes but yeah it's very similar to the mountain it keeps lighting up because of all the natural gases and all of that and yeah it's pretty crazy 
it's hard to believe guys that things like this actually exist but that's the case with pretty much everything we're seeing today like the mud wall came out and all of that and it's pretty windy right now but you can see that the claim doesn't extinguish at all so guys that's going to be the end of this whole tour and it's been a pretty long day and now it's going to be tired as well we left morning around 8 o'clock and it's going to be about 6 o'clock in the evening and i honestly enjoyed documenting all of this it's something which you know i can also refer back to and look at whenever i want to and all of that so yeah it's been really fun vlogging and it's been fun visiting all of these places looking at their culture and all of that which is pretty different to us as well and yeah i'm not uh, a person who's usually big into looking at like a lot of cultural things and all of that i mean like monuments i mean i love looking at cultural things when it comes to food and few other very peculiar and very random things but when it comes to monuments and things like that i'm not really a big fan of it but honestly it's been a really fun trip i think like the mud volcano was the fire mountain fire temple and all of these things or something which is very unique and not something which we come across often so yeah it's been a memorable uh, tour i would say so we're heading back to our sprint van now and yeah we will probably go back to our hotel and then go out for dinner later in the day so yeah we will continue the vlog after this so guys now we have come out to eat and it's this place called the shawarma it's pretty crowded here so for now i think some kind of chicken popcorn kind of a thing and this is french fries but they said in, in their traditional style i don't know what's different but yeah let's try that out apart from this we have a few other dishes as well so that will come in and i'll show you guys the rest of the food as well so guys the rest of the food is here as well i don't know what these things are called they look good this is some kind of like yeah it looks like a pizza but yeah i don't know what it's going to taste it has meat i don't know whether it's beef or it's mutton and even this is stuffed with some sort of meat and all of that looks pretty good let's try it out shake has come here look at this looks pretty aesthetic so yeah excited to try this out as well and after that we'll head back to the hotel there is this literally a monkey here on nizami street and i was just passing by and i saw this and i thought i'll show you guys back to our hotel room now and yeah pretty tiring day we've been here for about like 1 2 hours and honestly don't feel like doing anything else but we have another long tour for tomorrow as well it's like i have mixed feelings about it i kind of excited to go but at the same time don't feel like going because very very tired but anyways let's call it a day let's take some rest we'll sleep early probably and yeah we have to leave tomorrow so yeah pretty eventful day and i'll see you guys in the next vlog thank you guys for watching if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next vlog